Floating matter on the surface of the sea can often include uh, foam and other particulate matter, plastics and uh, other pollutants. Most common is the, it's often discolored in nature and this is usually associated with uh, high wave energy conditions. What happens is the breaking waves actually interact with the kelp, kelp beds which are common off our coastline. The, the waves cause the kelp blades to, to break down or small particles of kelp to break off. And the kelp starts to release mucus in the water. This mucus is uh, very protein rich and acts very much like soap as a surfactant and causes those bubbles on the surface of the water to be discolored and also to persist for long periods of time. So either during a storm event or immediately following a storm event, you often find this thick foam cast up on the shore, possibly on the beach or on the rocky shores. Again, this is an entirely natural phenomenon and the reason it persists for so long is the, is the mucus in the kelp has is, is got a lot of protein in it and uh, it reinforces the foam bubbles and prevents them from breaking down very quickly. There's obviously small bits of kelp mixed in there, sometimes bits of plastic, and uh, this also gives it its discolored appearance.